Hey out there in YouTube land, Alex here with my Jurassic Park cup of coffee. And another installment, I think the third installment in my Bowman Color Photography series, where I'm kind of doing a deep dive into learning a little bit more about the photographs that were taken for this baseball card set, as well as, I hope, figuring out who the photographers actually were. So today, uh, we're going to focus on one particular star player from the set, a Hall of Famer, a whiz kid, Mr. Robin Roberts of the Philadelphia Phillies. One of my favorite cards in the set, being a Philly fan. So those of you that have been following this story will remember this magazine that I found a while back, the Baseball Yearbook, published by True, the Man's Magazine. This was published in 1953, of course. And you can tell pretty much right away that all four of these photographs here were from the photo sessions done for the 53 Bowman Color set. And right down there in the corner is, of course, Robin Roberts. kind of consider it an outtake from the session. Obviously it wasn't used for the card, but a whole bunch of photographs would have been snapped on the day, and that was one of them. So although I'm still trying to figure out who a lot of the photographers were, a lot of these guys worked for magazines. They worked for the New York Times. They worked for Life Magazine, Look Magazine, Sports Illustrated, you know, and on and on. And so if Bowman didn't buy all the photographs for the card set, these photographers, I'm guessing, were kind of selling these off to magazines and you know, getting the most bang for their buck, considering they had all these really valuable photographs of big time baseball stars. So in looking around for stuff online, you know, I'm doing general searches. I'm searching you know, baseball photography, 50s photography. I'm searching all these magazines. Um, and I'm also just kind of searching for magazines in general, just magazines that might have come out in 52 or 53. And as a result, I came across a couple new things that I wanted to share with you guys. So the first up is this one. As you can see, it says Major League Baseball, 1953, published by Dell. And it says facts, figures, official rules, and stories of the stars. And of course features Robin Roberts, who they list as the top pitcher of the year. We'll do a quick flip through. It's mostly stats. There are a couple photographs. You can see here Johnny Mize. Um, but it's mostly black and white. There's no, no color photographs in here and nothing that seems to be taken by the same folks that did the, uh, the Bowman color set. Allie Reynolds, Mike Garcia, just players of the of the year. A lot of these guys are also Bowman color cards, of course. We've got Stan the Man, Duke, lots of stats. We've got some folks here. Our friend Harry Bird. Fantastic name. Hope you guys have fun with that name. Uh, Virgil Trucks. And who do we have here at the end? Hoyt Wilhelm. Joe Black and Hank Sauer. Not Sawyer, Sauer. And then of course, pretty nice bonus here on the back. Check that out, Mickey Mantle, baseball's future great. How awesome is that? A little bit of a prediction there, and they ended up being correct. So anyway, uh, when I saw this, I was like, okay, that definitely looks like it's part of the same photo session for the 53 set. But then I started thinking, you know, one of the problems you get into when you're looking at these photographs is when you're looking at certain players, you're gonna see the same poses over and over and over again. Who's to say that this wasn't 
a year earlier, but then I happened to find the exact photograph online doing a search in forums. And you can see that, yep, this cover was definitely taken from a photograph that was snapped during the 53 Bowman Color photo sessions. So I was really excited when I found that photograph and was definitely able to identify it as being part of the original photo session. So if that wasn't enough, I found one more. You know, 53 was a big year for Robin Roberts, so he got a lot of publicity. And here's one more I found. This is from a magazine called uh, Parade. It was actually part of the Wichita Sunday Eagle, like a special uh, insert that they would put out. Um, it's a very thin publication. I'm not even gonna bother flipping through it because there's really nothing in there. Um, Roberts is really just featured on the, on the cover and that's kind of it. You can see here down here it says, the top pitcher, once again, listed as the top pitcher. So this was uh, put out on April 12th, 1953. You can see here it's a little beat up, but I'm not really worried about that. Quite obviously, another photograph taken during that photo session for the 53 set. So I was really excited when I found that one. And so what's kind of awesome about finding all these photographs is that all three of these extra photographs that I found could have just, have e just as easily been the 1953 Bowman Color card of Robin Roberts and they just happened to choose, you know, this one amongst those photographs. So it's really kind of cool to take a look at all the different possibilities that the Bowman folks had in terms of choice for what was gonna end up on the card. Now, for the real killer, um, neither this publication or this publication list who took the photograph. One thing that I'm kind of learning about um, being a photographer in the early 50s is you really didn't get much credit. You were, you know, th these guys, whoever they were, were taking fantastic photographs, beautiful photographs. I guess it was kind of considered commonplace, so the photographer didn't really get as much credit as they probably deserved. And as a result, I still haven't figured out who's taking, the <laughs> who's taking these photographs yet. So the search continues. But um, really cool to see all these Robin Roberts. Hope you guys enjoyed taking a look at these with me. Thanks for checking out the video, guys. Take care. Talk to you all soon.